Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these old dark days of unrest. And friend, there's no better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me today invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word, the Holy Bible, and turn with me over to the seventh chapter of the Gospel of Luke. I want us today to look at verse number uh, 47 as our text verse. The Bible says here, Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And friend, I pray that God will add his blessings to the reading of his holy and his precious word today. You know, for the past uh, week or so, we've been looking at uh, forgiveness and talking about the importance of forgiveness. And today, I want to continue that thought as we bring to you a little devotion that I've titled, uh, Forgiveness Changes Lives. Forgiveness Changes Lives. Now, in our text verse of Scripture, the Lord uh, reminds us that this particular lady, her sins were many, and she was forgiven much. And because of that forgiveness, she was able to love much. But my friend, whenever we uh, just uh, harbor uh, hatred and uh, we don't forgive like we should and uh, we harbor uh, uh, bitterness in our heart, then we can't love much. We love very little. You know, my friend, when you experience true forgiveness, true forgiveness, love is a result of true forgiveness. Not only will you love the Lord, your God, for forgiving you, but uh, being forgiven by a loving God allows you to love others in a way that you could not love them before. You see, understanding the depth of your sin and the depth of God's love and forgiveness will inspire you to forgive and to love more freely. I tell people all the time, when God saved me, he had to reach down to the guttermost to save to the uttermost. My friend, understanding, listen, understanding that you are a sinner needing a Savior to forgive you. You are a sinner forgiven when you get forgiven by God, when you accept Christ as Lord and Savior. You're a sinner forgiven by a loving God. And this can radically change the way that you see others. You know, friend, whenever you see others right now without God's forgiveness in your life, all you see is the wrong that somebody will do. But whenever you uh, get saved by the grace of God and you understand the depth of God's forgiveness, it's then and only then that you begin to see the good that may be in someone else. I can still hear my daddy bless his heart. He's uh, with the Lord, been with the Lord over 30 years. But daddy always said, son, if you can't say something good about somebody, just don't say anything at all. Daddy showed me by the way that he lived that God had forgiven him much and therefore he could love much. When God has forgiven you much, you too can love very much. Think about that. Forgiveness can change lives. Father, we thank you so much for reminding us how much you've forgiven each and every one of us. And as you have forgiven us, help us love others that they too may experience your forgiveness Help us remember that someone's always watching. Help us to let them see Jesus. For it's in his name I pray. Amen. Well, friend, I pray you found a little bit of encouragement in this today to know that God is a forgiving God and uh, to much that's been forgiven, much love can go forth. Uh, Friends, God's forgiveness changes lives. Let it change yours today. And then you help to change someone else by your actions and letting others see Christ in what you say and in what you do. God bless you. 
Have a wonderful day.